Hi, everybody. It's Jessica. Let's get started with projects in Google Earth. So I've gone to Google Earth. I'm going to go ahead and click launch. Just remember, don't take an entire class into Google Earth at the same time as you'll probably experience some lag. It's better if it's set up as a station or an option as um, to something that can be working on during the hour. Um, so here I am. It, it brought me to somewhere I was working on recently. You can ignore that. We're just going to click projects on the far left. Now from here, you'll probably click new project and then create a project in Google Drive. I've already done that, so I'm just going to go and open up what I was working on earlier. Um, so I'm looking at comparing and contrasting um, Chicago during uh, the World's Fair uh, to what we see today in Google Earth. What's been left and how have things evolved? Uh, and so it brought me to my last uh, stop that I had just inserted not too long ago. You um, and what I'm going to do as well would both click new feature and you can search to add a place, add a place mark, um, draw a line or a shape. I'm going to go ahead and search a place. And uh, what do I want to do? I'm actually going to zoom out. Uh, I have this picture of um, the skyline. Uh, 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 the title of the picture is A Forest of Skyscrapers from a primary source that I have. And after I examined the picture, I thought, gosh, this would be such a cool assignment for kids too, to have to try to figure out where is this picture today. And I'll show you the picture in just a little bit. So I'm going to zoom into the location here. And I need to move my picture here. I'll throw myself there. And I'm going to grab on Pegman here. <clears throat> Come here, Peggy. There we go. And I'm, I'm, it would take me normally a, a few tries to figure this out if I, if I can get this right. I am going to, uh, we'll go right here and hopefully it's going to work. I want to see this particular um, building uh, that matches the uh, primary source photo that I have. And so uh, I'm going to spin my view a little bit here and take a look-see around. <clears throat> Try that one more time since it's giving me grief. And drop Pegman. And there we go. There it is. Got it. And so this, this particular old picture I have uh, matches. It, it's fairly close to this particular scene, but there's a lot that's different, that's for sure. And uh, But it's this building that I'm trying to catch. It's the focus of one of the pictures I have. And so I want to include that on my tour. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, capture this view. And uh, I'm going to call this a forest of skyscrapers and click edit place <clears throat> and I want to upload the photo that I have for my primary sources and there it is and so now when my viewers uh, get to this particular stop they'll be dropped here in street view but also have an image as to what this is going to look like um, back then or what it did look like back then. So I'll click. Um, normally then I would have the kids write in details. Um, details go here. And uh, they can adjust. I try not to, if, if you teach them how to capture the view, they shouldn't have to mess with this stuff. And looks good. Then I want to click preview presentation. So that's what it's going to look like when your users uh, hit this particular stop. They'll see the street view, the current, the most recent updated street view imagery from 2021, but then also be able to get a, a view as to uh, the primary source with the text underneath. And they can click exit. I can move myself over here. We're going to go back. And as you can see, that is now going to be on my stop. And so we can present my little project from the beginning. And first, we're going to stop number one, the Art Institute of Chicago. And then we're going to go ahead and advance on the next location. Uh, isn't that cool? Forest to skyscrapers, this, the second uh, image. And then your users then can, again, click that image to get a bigger view. Now, if I were really handy with this, I would then step it up and have kids use Screencastify to screencast a, vor a verbal recording of them uh, explaining these tours. So uh, each stop, wouldn't that be cool? So there you go. That is the quickest rundown on how to get started with projects in Google Earth. Enjoy.